Bass Harbor Light in Acadia, everyone's seen it. It's on millions of postcards. It's everywhere. It's just iconic. But many people don't realize that it had this really sinister past and history. But it starts with the building of the Bass Harbor Lighthouse. Um, when it was being built in the 1850s, there were a certain number of men working on it. One man was just had disappeared. And um, you might think, well, he just got up and left. Uh, but there was also the fact of this bloody ax that was left on the rocks, but no body to go with it. Legends quickly began that the body of one of the workers that was killed by the ax was sealed up into the, the lighthouse. So at that point in time, it's just legend. But what gives it, lends it some support was the fact that for almost a century, almost every lightkeeper that lived at Bass Harbor Light or their family came down with these unaccountable tragedies. Sickness, death, accidents, one after the other would happen there. And it seemed like it finally ended when it became automated. I don't know if, and I'm just theorizing here, that perhaps the spirit was perhaps trying to jeopardize the ships that were passing by there that would be worn by the light and therefore would target the lighthouse keepers. But once you didn't have a human in control of lighting that lantern, it mercifully left because there are still people that stay there and thank God that legacy has ended. But people still see stuff out there. People have witnessed a lighthouse keeper out there, strange sounds and noises that are out there that are unaccountable um, as well. We've been to our share of haunted lighthouses in New England, and to me the story's so similar because here you have this really boring and mundane job, but critical, critical, right? Life depends on you doing this boring job again and again, and it's almost like a movie that just gets burned into the location yeah. and it plays over and over. And when we look at these, these romantic, lonely places, we can't help but think of the people that made them what they are.